Welcome back to Slow Living. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how I sewed up this hooded baby's towel. This is such a great gift idea. I had some lovely feedback from friends who I made these for that they came in really handy and they're such a great practical gift. This is a super simple beginner friendly project so I highly recommend it if you're very new to sewing and you can even customize your project with patches or embroidery or hand stitched details. So the general size for baby towels seems to be about one meter by one meter or 32 inches. If you're wanting to do kid sizes or even adult sizes, jump on Google, have a look at the different towel sizes there and then you can just use those dimensions. And for this hood, since I'm making it for a baby, it has to be quite small. So the short edges are about 12 inches. I'm using 100% cotton terry toweling, which I highly recommend. Although do be careful because a lot of terry toweling out there at the moment is a blend and there will be like maybe a synthetic fiber in there, such as polyester mixed with cotton. But depending on your budget and what's available to you, you might have to compromise. Since this is a towel and the measurements are somewhat flexible, I just decided to use the full width of the fabric that I had bought um, and then just turn that into a square. If you're very particular about the finished size of your towel, then go ahead and add one centimeter of seam allowance around each piece. Um, otherwise, I felt like it was a bit negligible, you know, a centimeter here or there, taken off from the total towel size didn't really matter to me. So I just used, again, the total width and then I took my seam allowance from that. I was making this set as a gift, so I wanted to add some personalized embroidery um, to the hood part. So I'm gonna do that now before I sew it up. If you wanna add like an iron-on patch or anything like that, you can do that now as well. I had some odd shaped rectangles left over from cutting my towel out, and so I decided to turn them into face washers. This is a really great way to use up any leftover fabric you might have lying around because face washers can be any size really to be functional, and they make a really great little add-on to the towel to make a really great gift. Now on to constructing the hooded towel. The first thing we're going to do is round off that pointed part of the hood. So I lined up my triangle hood piece with the corner of the towel that I'm going to attach it to. And then I just drew this rounded corner on a piece of paper and I'm going to cut around that and use it as a stencil. Now trim off a tiny bit from the corners of the hood piece, so the two lower corners, just because we're going to hem that and flip it up so that they don't get in the way. Next, I'm going to use an overlocker or a serger to serge around all the edges. So serge all around both the hood piece and the towel piece separately. And if you don't have an overlocker or serger, you can use the zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine. You can Google how to finish raw edges using a sewing machine so that we can fold it over and get this really nice clean finished look later on. You can also bind all of the edges if you prefer that finished look, um, but binding is not very beginner friendly, which is why I haven't recommended it in this tutorial. Next, we're going to hem the long side of the hood. So the side that goes across the forehead, we're just going to fold up that edge one centimeter and use a straight stitch to sew straight across. It should look nice and neat like this, and now it's ready for us to attach to the rest of the towel. Pop the right sides of the fabric together and then line up the edges nice and neatly. You can add some pins and we're just going to sew all the way around that corner. When you're done, you can flip it out the right way and it should be nice and neat. The hood part is all done and we can finish the rest of the towel now. You should already be able to see this one centimeter of seam allowance peeking out from where we attached the hood at the edge. And so it should make it nice and easy to turn over the rest of the seam allowance all the way around the edge of the towel and just simply sew that down. Try to keep it nice and neat. So if you need to measure one centimeter and pin that as you go around, um, because you will be able to see this seam allowance on the finished product. So just keep it really nice and neat and it won't be noticeable. And that's pretty much it for the hooded towel. It's all finished now. Um, and I basically used the same technique to do the little face washes. So surging or overlocking all the way around the outside and then just folding that down one centimeter to finish off the edges. You can add embroidery or applique or any sort of hand stitched details after you've finished the towel if you prefer. Um, I just found it might make it a little bit trickier to get into the hood piece and stuff like that. but. You could just as easily attach it after the towel is finished. 
as I mentioned, I made these as gifts and I got some really great feedback because they're such a practical gift and sometimes people don't think of towels when they think of baby gifts. So I hope that this tutorial came in handy for you. And if you had any other beginner projects or tutorials that you had in mind that I could help with, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video soon.